everyone, this is Eric Man and welcome to my YouTube channel. For this video, we are going to talk about the noble angle identities, one of the composite angle formulas of the trigonometry. So without further ado, let's begin. We have three sets again of formulas for double angle identities for sine, cosine, and tangent function. For sine function, we have sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cosine a. Cosine function, we have 3. Cosine 2a is equal to cosine square a minus sine square a. Cosine 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square a or we have 2 cosine square a minus 1. And for tangent function, Tangent 2a is equal to 2 tangent a over 1 minus tangent square a. These are our formulas for double angle identities. And to apply all these identities, let's take example number 1. Example number 1, if cosine theta is equal to 3 over 5 and sine theta is less than 0, determine sine 2 theta. Okay, we are going to solve for the value of sine 2 theta. This is a double angle. And of course, apply natin siya ng double angle identity. But first, para mahanap natin yung sine 2 theta, kailangan alam muna natin yung value ng sine theta. Kasi, applying the double angle identity for sine function, sine 2 theta or sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cosine a. Alam na natin yung value ng cosine a or yung cosine theta natin which is 3 over 5, ang kailangan na lang natin hanapin is yung sine a or yung sine theta to solve for the value of sine 2 theta. So, for sine theta muna tayo. For sine theta, um, since alam na natin yung value ng cosine theta, pwede natin itong applyan ng isa sa mga fundamental identities natin, yung tinatawag natin na Pythagorean Theorem. So, by Pythag yung tinatawag natin na Pythagorean Identity. So, by Pythagorean identity, or let's say PI na lang, ayan, Pythagorean identity, sine square theta plus cosine square theta is equal to 1. Alam na natin yung value ng cosine theta, therefore, we can solve for sine theta using the Pythagorean identity. So, pwede natin ihiwalay yung square ulit. This is sine theta quantity square plus cosine theta, para hindi tayo malito, square is equal to 1. Sine theta ang hinahanap natin, sine theta, plus cosine theta, 3 over 5, square, 3 over 5 square is equal to 1. And, transpose, perlipat natin sa kabilang side of equation, sine theta square is equal to 1 minus, this is 3 square, 9, 5 square, 25, ayan, and we subtract sine theta square, ang LCD ng 1 and 9 over 25 is simply 25 lang din. So, 25 divided by 1 times 1 is 25. 25 divided by 25 is 1 times 9. Is, this is negative 9. So, sine theta quantity square is equal to 25 minus 9 is 16 over 25. And square root ng both sides para mahanap natin yung value ng sine theta is equal to square root of 16 is 4. And square root of 25 is 5. But we have a condition here, yung sine theta daw is less than 0. Ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin nating root. So, dalawa kasi ang root ng six, square root of 16 over 25. Dalawa yung root yan, isang positive and isang negative. And gagamitin natin is yung negative dahil yung sine theta is less than 0. Nasa negative side. So, this is our sine theta. And now, solving for sine 2 theta. Gagamitin natin na yung Double angle identity of sine function. So, this is 2 sine theta cosine theta sine 2 theta is equal to 2. Ang value ng sine theta natin is negative 4 over 5. Ang value ng cosine theta natin is 3 over 5. Multiplying 
sin 2 theta, 2 times 4 times 3 is 24. This negative 24 over 5 times 5 is 25. Hindi na natin yan pwedeng simplify into lowest term kasi ito na siya mismo. Sin 2 theta is equal to negative 24 over 25. Example number 2. Same problem concept from example number 1. Actually, this is the given conditions. Ang inahanap naman dito is yung cosine 2 theta. We will apply the double the double, ident the double angle identity for double angle identity of cosine function. Cosine 2 theta is equal to, in terms of theta na tayo, cosine square theta minus sine square theta. Ginawa ko ng theta sa formula natin kanina sa intro. We have letter A, angle A. This is theta na lang. Alam na natin yung value ng cosine theta. And kanina, sa problem number 1, nasolve na natin yung value ng sine theta which is negative 4 over 5. So, isa-substitute na lang natin. Pero, i-arrange muna natin para hindi maging mukhang complicated. This is cosine 2 theta is equal to, ilabas natin yung square, cosine theta square minus sine theta square. So, cosine 2 theta is equal to, ang cosine theta natin is 3 over 5 square minus sine theta natin na negative 4 over 5 square. So, cosine 2 theta is equal to uh, 3 over 5 square. This is 9 over 25. Minus negative e square natin is positive na yan. So, 4 square is 16 over 5 square is 25. This is positive na kasi in square natin. And pag din natin, we have cosine or pag multiply natin ay pag subtract na natin, we have cosine 2 theta is equal to ang kanilang LCD obviously is 25 and 9 minus 16 is negative 7. So, cosine 2 theta is equal to negative 7 over 20. Five. Example number 3 is a part 3. Same given and condition but this time in, the, in problem number 3, we are asked to determine the value of tangent 2 theta naman with the same given and condition. Applying the double angle identity of tangent function, we have tangent 2 theta here. Tangent 2 theta is equal to 2 tangent theta over 1 minus theta tangent square theta. O kailangan, alam natin yung value ng tangent theta only. Ang hinahanap natin is tangent 2 theta. Para malaman yun, since alam na natin yung value ng cosine theta, which is 3 over 5, and yung sine theta, which is negative 4 over 5, pwede na natin malaman ngayon yung value ng tangent theta using the quotient identity, one of the fundamental identities of trigonometry. So, tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. Ang sine theta natin is negative 4 over 5. Ang cosine theta natin is 3 over 5, positive. So, this is negative 4 over 5, reciprocal ng denominator. 5 over 3 is cancelled na itong dalawa na to. And ang tangent theta natin is equal to negative 4 over over 3. Pero, hindi pa yan ang exact answer natin kasi ang hinahanap natin is tangent 2 theta. And to solve for tangent 2 theta, meron tayong dalawang ways actually. Uh, yung una, of course, sa apply natin double angle identity ng, two, the two, ng tangent 2 theta. Ito. Pangalawa, we can simply use the quotient identity for tangent 2 theta. Una muna natin, um, una muna natin gamitin is yung double angle identity. For tangent 2 theta, ito yan, ito ulit, binibilugan ko, is equal to 2 value ng tangent theta natin na negative 4 over 3 over 1 minus tangent square theta. Ah, ilalabas lang ulit natin yung square, ganito. Square, para hindi na tayo malito. So, this is negative 4 over 3 naka-square. And then, we simplify. 
this is 2 times 4 over 3, 8 over 3 negative over 1 minus negative square is positive na siya. So, 4 square, ito yun. 4 square is 16. 3 square is 9. Ayan. Then, we simplify again. This is 1 minus 16 over 9. Ang kanilang, i-relate mo natin, this is 8 over 3 over, kasi ang LCD ng denominator is 9. 9 divided by 9 divided by 1 times 9, 9. 9 divided by 9, 1 times 16 is 16. Negative 8 over 3 over 9 minus 16 is negative 7 over 9. Again na natin dito. Kuhali natin yung reciprocal. This is negative 8 over 3, reciprocal ng denominator, para masimplify natin, negative 9 over 7. So, pwede natin simplify yan. Uh, ito is 3 na lang, and this is 1. Simplify natin. And 8 times 3 is 24, positive, kasi negative times negative, positive na siya, over 1 times 7, this is 7. Ang answer natin for tangent 2 theta is 24 over 7 positive. Yan for example number 3. Pero sabi ko nga, may isa pang way para ma-check lang naman natin. Uh, gagamitin natin is yung quotient identity. For quotient identity, let's say this is letter B. Using quotient identity. We have tangent 2 theta is equal to sine 2 theta over cosine 2 theta. So, yan lang yan. Alam na natin yung value ng sine 2 theta sa problem number 1. And alam na rin natin yung value ng cosine 2 theta from problem number 2. Sa so, substitute na lang natin, sine 2 theta is equal to negative 24 over 25 over value ng cosine theta na negative 7 over 25. And kunin natin reciprocal ng denominator to simplify. This is 24 over 25 negative times 25 negative ito over 7. Cancel, cancel. Negative times negative is positive. Therefore, tangent 2 theta is equal to positive 24 over 7. Same answer. This is example number 3 using quotient identity.